Der Restaurator des Vertrauens in Dubai ist Vijay Pillai, der sich seit rund elf Jahren auf die Restauration von Oldtimern spezialisiert hat. Max Garage was, uh, is about 28 years old today. <coughs> And uh, we started way back in 78. I was working for the company from 84, then uh, bought it up in 92. And since then we have moved on and uh, about six, appro approximately five or six years, we started a new division into a normal service and repairs of four-wheel drives and cars uh, to classic cars. Selbst eine Probefahrt durch den dicken Verkehr auf den Straßen Dubais gehört dazu. Vijay Pillai hatte den ersten Kontakt mit Oldtimern, als ein Kunde aus Australien seinen Daimler Dart restaurieren wollte. Der Funke und die Idee, möglichst nah am Original zu arbeiten, sprang über. One of our clients, Simon Chris, was the most responsible person for taking that step, because he got his Daimler Dart in from New Zealand for uh, restoring and he was hunting down, uh, hunting down shops here and somehow we managed to mentally click and uh, that's that's what got it started and today we are uh, we have a few re restored cars in in the in our in our list and um, and as we go we are still learning um, the new suppliers the sourcing of parts some of them to be manufactured and uh, every car Is starting to tell a story. Inzwischen sind vier Hallen der Max Garage von Vijay Pillai gefüllt mit Oldtimern, die auf Restauration warten oder kurz vor der Fertigstellung sind. Die Zeit drängt, denn der Concours d'Elegance in Kuwait ist der nächste Auftritt für die schönsten der schönsten Oldtimer der Region. This is a fine example of the famous Rolls Royce and uh, it's uh, a collection of a family in, in, in this part of the world. He's got a few models of it. Uh, we are sort of preparing it for the uh, show in Kuwait in a couple of months. And uh, it's a Hooper body, Hooper body, and uh, 50, 1954, plus 1954 model. Beim seltenen Adenauer 300 Cabriolet kann auch Vijay Pillai seinen Stolz kaum verbergen als er von den hohen Staatsgästen erzählt, die in diesem Oldtimer gereist sind. Especially this, uh, they call it the famous Adenor series, is a 300D Cabrio, 4-door Cabrio, uh, 1960, and uh, apparently around 65 or 68 pieces were built of this particular model. Um, this is a very stately car, um, very many... Uh, High leaders and royalties have traveled in them, and uh, we we have uh, restored. We are in the process of completing the restoration, which took us close to seven years. Uh, but still, there are small things because of the availability of non-availability of certain intricate parts, uh, which we are still hunting for. And uh, hopefully, very soon, it's already on the road, but we still. Got to finish a few of the bad chrome jobs and you know, and uh, it's in the process of completion. The engine was uh, done by a famous company in uh, the US, <coughs> they only do the 300 uh, engines, and uh, that took them about two and a half years to finish. Um, so, we have put we have done all the other bits like the, the, the frame up restoration completely. So da die Beschaffung der Originalersatzteile bei einem solch seltenen Fahrzeug extrem schwierig ist, musste der Besitzer Geduld mitbringen. To get a genuine part, especially rubber item, is becoming a very uphill task because apparently Mercedes is not supplying to the distributors or 
even if they are getting one, it's exorbitantly priced. <coughs> so it just sort of defeats the whole. Uh, so most of the time in the restoration, we have to work two times uh, over the same item because of the non-fitment of the part, which doesn't sit well mm -hmm. because it's not a genuine item. So in this, we have made at least ninety-nine percent of them are are genuine parts on this car. So that that took us a long time to put it together. Every time you have to wait, and there's a lot of loss of time to achieve it. Originalität. Das hat man auch im Land der 1001 Möglichkeiten schnell gelernt, ist das Wichtigste bei der Restauration eines Oldtimers, der an Wert gewinnen soll. Der Auftraggeber dieses Jaguars hat VJP Lai deswegen mit allen Details, deren er habhaft werden konnte, versorgt. We're finding more and more in the UAE that um, the old uh, just you know mend it to do um, a, a, a approach has has developed over the last few years to become really much much higher quality standards of restoration. There are still people here that are just fixing the cars for general use. But there is a, a, certainly a movement of, of car restoring companies um, that are producing international standards. It's certainly not everywhere here, but uh, there, there are a, a definitely an increasing number of people that are taking a proper interest in the way to restore these cars. And um, this body uh, has no filler in it at all now. It is all original lead loaded using techniques that uh, have been developed in, in India uh, to restore the old British cars that they've been keeping on the road for the last 50 years. And so those skills still exist. The original traditional panel beating skills still exist in India. And the people that are now working on my car uh, are people that have come to Dubai and are working for garages here that, that are continuing to do that kind of work. Um, the young man that's done a lot of the work on mine, he wouldn't be any more than 25, 26 years old, but he comes from a family that have been blacksmiths for 500 years. And so, you know, metal is in this guy's blood, and uh, it shows in the way he works on the car. They don't know the correct things to do in terms of what's original and what's not, so they need to be guided at every step in the process, but their skills and their quality of execution is as good as anywhere else in the world, I believe. Anyway, the proof of that will be when I finish my car. People can come and have a look and tell me whether I've got it right or not. In the local market, we don't have any uh, inputs that we can get of, uh, of these models, so we'll have to go through the net or go back into the history of all these cars, and that's a time-consuming affair. Now it all depends on the client's choice of how much time and money he wants to spend for it. So eventually on that basis we do it. We, do it. we don't do anything that is non-standard non to the car. I mean the other day we had an experience of a Corvette driving and it looked a 82 model but when we opened the bonnet it was having a latest Corvette engine inside it, Chevy V8, a new one and we straight away refused to do that because we, we don't do anything that's non-standard on the car that came up with it. Die Blecharbeiten werden von Spezialisten ausgeführt, die seit Generationen das Handwerk der Schmiedekunst innerhalb der Familie weitergeben. In den Vereinten Arabischen Emiraten gibt es keine übergreifende Ausbildung zum Fahrzeugrestaurator. Deshalb führt der Unternehmer für seine Mitarbeiter wöchentlich Kurse zur Weiterbildung durch. Uh, most of our technicians or uh, panel beaters are uh, uh, experienced with their trade coming down from the family generation. Because in India we still have blacksmiths and uh, they, they, they are in the, in, the, uh, in the family and they pass on to generation to generation. And uh, that is where uh, we, the boys that we have can shape anything, rebuilt to its original uh, glory. Uh, that has been a plus point on working on these classic cars because as you know, not very many parts are available these days. As I told you earlier, we also have done a complete door and a bonnet for an XK140 uh, in, on aluminium sheet, with aluminium sheet, rebuilt the whole uh, process. And then we have in-house training we do. 
uh, when te technology changes, we introduce them to new tools, we introduce them to uh, uh, the, uh, the application of it, uh, the safety measures we take on educating them. So we have a weekly in-house uh, training and if it is any new equipments then we the suppliers are uh, requested to come and give us a demo so we we do we do send them for even paint shop training water base training so the staff is periodically updated on uh, as in this country you don't have an ex ex exclusive institute to teach them all this trade so we have to do it in house die hohe Qualität der Max Garage von Vijay Pillai hat sich über die Landesgrenzen herumgesprochen. We have sent cars international, we have sent four or five cars to Germany after restoration. We have sent one to India. There is a uh, few gone to the other Gulf countries. Um, but otherwise it's all uh, locally. I mean most of the cars are here. Um, and then we have the normal normal uh, section to work on also so uh, at present yes most of the cars have been done locally but we are looking at uh, getting um, panels from other parts of the world as uh, labor is a bit more cheaper here and we can reproduce them to the original we are working on it to to make contacts to get those parts here and re-export it <laughs>